Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Eric Lex. Yeah, and I'm on the Xbox 360, and we are going to be making this today, and that is the 3x3 combination door, which is incredibly cool. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys uh, some stuff about it before we go and make it. So it's a normal 3x3, except for you have to rotate the tape strip inside of the door. So we're going to just look at that. Right now I have it set to open. And there's actually 12 separate combinations to choose from. You can make the door patterns however you want to, but the last block either needs to be a stair, a fence post, glass, just something that's not going to conduct. So anyway, when you see when I close it, it's going to actually go close and lock. And that's locked. So if I try and open it again, it's not going to break. You have to rotate it twice, and while it's rotating, just to show you guys, you can spam the button and it's not going to open, so you can't just figure out the combination that way. You actually have to know that this has to rotate 12 times, which you could count, but either anyway, I mean, it's got built-in inputs, built-in clock, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and make this, huh? Alright, so... 11 by 10 by 4 is the entire size of this. So if you were going to put this in on a map, uh, say a flat map, you'd have to dig a 3 by 11 by 4 deep hole. But you cannot build this directly on bedrock because we do need one, uh, one block of space here. So, yeah, don't build it directly on bedrock. So, yeah, let's just crack right into this. So, from the right side here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, come up three blocks like that, and then delete these. Then you're going to want to come here in the middle of these three blocks. You want to put four sticky pistons like that, and then you'll need one, two, and three sticky pistons there, and you'll need to fill this in with whatever material you like. So like this, then just come up here, bring that up three, three more, and then three again. That gives you the entrance way to the door. So for this, I like to do this, just brace, basically bring this up like that, and just bring it up, make it a three by two area like that. And then before we close this top off, we want to put sticky pistons facing downward in the amount of three. Go ahead and delete that one. Now we can go ahead and just fill this in. Like that. Go ahead and place your sticky piston here and then delete uh, that, not that. And then here and here. Same thing as on the other side, just like that. So you can fill this in with whatever blocks you're making this out of. I'm using quartz, obviously. But it's not absolutely necessary. So these are going to be our extension update circuits. This is what causes the middle piston to come in and close. So like that. And then we're going to need some gray wool on it here and here with redstone. Then just three repeaters like that. That's pretty much our piston layout and all that done. So these holes are for the piston tape. So the next thing to do is get our inputs uh, together. So we need a button and a lever. This is to open and close. This is to control the clock. What I like to do myself, uh, I'm using a lot of colors, so you guys don't have to use them. But uh, this controls the clock, and then this is going to be for our open and closing green and magenta and we're going to just come over here and bring that down like that and then put some magenta like that and then go ahead and come over here and place another one and put a torch there and then a torch here repeater here on three ticks redstone and redstone just like that All right so this has an orientational issue but it's uh, patchable so I'm going to just show you it so if you put, um, it's supposed to have a repeater, and that on the PC, this works in all orientations, but apparently facing north and south, you either need the repeater or you don't. So simply checking it like this, 
you'll see that it didn't toggle it like we want to. So if we replace this with some redstone, you'll see that it toggles it. There we go. So it toggles the block. This one works without that. So it'll actually open with the repeater. So on the PC, no orientational problems. All right, so now that it's day, let's go ahead and delete these. And we're going to want to put a torch here with some redstone, light gray block there. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the extension circuit. So this is what's going to extend this door. So three pieces of redstone, and then you'll need three more like that, a repeater facing those, the back of it, and then you'll need a torch here, repeater here on two ticks into a gray block, and then you can put redstone there, and you see it extends all of those. So the next thing to do is to put a block here, here, and here, and then you need repeaters on two ticks. Go ahead and place another block there, and connect it and you'll see it gives us our full extension. So at this point we can go ahead and grab top slabs and go ahead and just place one there and then one underneath, delete the top one and put two there. Should be all the top slabs we need on this side. So light gray wool and you'll see here that uh, this connects underneath the piston, loops around and causes the door to close in all places that we want it to except there. So right here, block with some redstone. And there you go. That's the closing sequence. So now we just need to work on the retraction sequence. So if we come over here, we need to finish this gray circuit. So up like that, repeater, redstone, and a repeater on four ticks. Go ahead and grab some pink wool one block with redstone and then come up one and two torch there repeater here on two ticks of delay and then we are going to go ahead and grab a red block which I already have in my inventory and put some redstone on it like that so now we can come here put a sticky piston there with a pink block on it like that and then one more here with redstone All right, go ahead and grab some sand sand there and then we want another sticky piston right there go ahead and grab a blue block and put it there sticky piston here with a block on it and then top slabs one here and one here then we need two pieces or two dabs of redstone sticky piston and then we'll need a, a red block and then we'll need to go top slab and we can start on our yellow circuit it's actually part of the timer what we're building here repeater here on two ticks of delay and just come down here and place a block like that we're going to want to make a little amber gate so delete that and that and then put a sticky piston in there like that go ahead and put redstone this is actually what's going to extend one of our piston tapes. So block like that. And then what you're going to need to do is come in here and put two blocks like that, two ticks on that, and then this is going to be our first piston tape piston. So a non-sticky piston that way and a non-sticky piston that way. It's going to grab all the blocks and then stick them through there and yeah so that part's done now we need to get our retraction sequence on the door so two blocks and then one like that delete this two blocks here two pieces of redstone a repeater sticky piston and I like to use a red block gray block here torch there repeater on no delay and that's going to give us our retraction. It's actually going to retract the final block for us. So that's all wrapped up and done. Uh, one thing we do need to get is we need to finish our clock. So one, two, and three like that. And then one up like that. Torch. Repeater on two ticks like that. So this will actually give us a clock. 
when this piston lifts up it's going to give us a clock it's going to clock down there to control this side and then we're going to work on this side right here so a repeater and then two pieces of redstone and then we need to put yellow block here and here and like that two ticks on that and then we will need to put a repeater here and then we're going to go ahead and grab our clay that's actually not clay go ahead and grab our clay circuit and it's going to come up like that and we're going to need a top slab and then another top slab here with a another block with a torch on it and then we'll need two more top slabs going in there so before we get all crazy go ahead and grab some light gray and sever that so that this redstone that's right here does not connect repeater here on no delay repeater here on no delay repeater here on three ticks repeater here on full delay or four and then you're going to need to come in here and put a non-sticky piston facing downward. You should see it matching up with the hole right there. And then you're going to need to finish this off with one yellow block like that. So that's part of the top clock to run the piston tape. So that part's all wrapped up. Uh, this is pretty much completed here. We got our clock, we got all that, traction circuit. Okay, so we can start on this side here. So we can pretty much just guess where this is going to be. So I'm going to do that right there, right along those slabs. You want a piston level with the structure or a level with the space that we're using. And that will be part of the piston tape there. Okay, so the next thing to do is to grab a sticky piston. And I believe we need to have it right there. Yeah, so when that comes down, it's going to touch that. And then right off of that one, sorry, this one, this is what's going to actually, when it comes down and touches, it's going to make the entire device open or close. So the next thing that we need to do is basically put, um, this is where we're going to get into some optional stuff. So just put a, a clay block there. Then we're going to go ahead and get the, input for this. This is actually the clock. It's going to run both the tapes here. So uh, yellow wool come out like that and then three pieces of dust just like that. So um, on the PC uh, I'll show you the Xbox version first. This is how you'd want it on the Xbox and I'm gonna just go ahead and do that show you. So that's the Xbox. This is gonna update if you're on the PC, you simply need to put a piston there. You can use a piston here too if you want it to update, or you can use a power rail, which I think a power rail looks much better on the PC. Just looks clean, but it is a little bit more expensive. So since we're on the 360, you'd basically just want to use redstone lamps like that, and that will give us the update that we are looking for. So this is pretty wrapped up. It looks complete. Everything's all done. Uh, we just need to uh, test it. Just give it a quick little open up. Okay, it opened. It retracted the, the main piston there. And then we can go ahead and close it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I like to test this. So I like to hit the clock and look at the pistons. You can see that this one is going before that one. And then it's the same on the bottom here. This one's lifting up before that. I know the timings are cool. So I'm going to show you how you can do this real quick. So if you want it to open with the pattern that you have here, like I like it solid like this, what you want is a piece of glass and then put two, two uh, black blocks or whatever solid colors that you have and then leave an opening here on the top come here on this side and then we want to do the same thing but leave an opening on the bottom so now we can kind of test our piston tape to see how it's working there you go so it gave us two black blocks three black blocks and then at this point you can start putting in your code if you will 
And if you wanted to open up every 12 rotations, just have one piece of glass or staircase. But uh, this is just for example. So as you can see here, I want mine to open up every six rotations. There you go. So it should open now. There we go. And then we walk on through. Everything's cool. We're leaving. We hit it and it should close and lock. There we go. Alright, so that door is done. This is an awesome design by Covert. Um, I was going to add in one more little thing for you and that is how do you get out of it if it's closed behind you? Um, and that is what we're going to do right now. I have a, just a little bit of time. I'm just going to basically just build a little platform here. Uh, something like this. And then go ahead and just bring it up for... So this would basically be the inside, right? And then we got this look here. And then delete this side over here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to, to make a... Uh, it's called a latch gate timer. It's a little big, but it's it's quite efficient. I, I really like it. So uh, repeater coming off of that redstone. You can see here if I hit a button, it's going to send power down there. So at this point, if I put a torch here with a repeater facing in that block, a repeater facing this way, put a torch on it, and then go ahead and just drag this out as far as I would like it. Pretty much as much repeaters as you think is necessary. One, two, three. Um, I think four will be good. Four. I'll go ahead and go eight. So go ahead and put these all on full delay. and two dusts right there. So all we need to do now is just lead that redstone from that torch and lead it into this block. So to avoid it connecting here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is probably the coolest thing about it is that it's completely sealed. Like it fits right underneath it and it stays within the size of the structure. Um, and it gives you a, an on and off. So, go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So, we want this to come up. Sorry, we want it to come up here. <laughs> little little struggle on that one. So, connecting this redstone in here, like so, having it come up here. It's going to make this piston extend for you. So that's all you really need to do is just have it extend. But So it's locked right now, but if I go ahead and hit the button, it's going to open and then close behind me in a decent amount of time too. So now to get back in, you'd actually have to run it until you see the pattern. So that's open for me. So now I can go ahead and do this. Go on in and then hit the button to close it. Yeah, and then when I'm leaving I just hit this one. So there's plenty of time to get through, but uh, yeah, that's all the time I got. There's a way to lock this too, where you can just completely lock it so that nobody can get in or out, um, but I don't have enough time to show you that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, comment, like, and subscribe, and have a good one. Later.